Hello lovelies, welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be trying out a few Pond's skincare creams for a week. So I recently started using Pond's cold cream cleanser every evening to remove my makeup and I was so impressed by it. So then I bought Pond's dry skin cream and started using it and it was amazing too. And then I kind of went down the rabbit hole and wanted to try out some of the other Pond's products. So then I bought the Claire B3 Anti-Spot Cream for an even tone skin. And then I also bought the Rejuvenous Firmer and Younger Looking Skin Cream. So I ended up using these for a week straight. So stay tuned and I'll let you know what I think and I'll take you through my week long process of using these four products every day. But first, let's talk a little bit about the history of Pond's cold cream. And Pond's cold cream and Pond's, the company, has been around for more than 150 years. In 1846, American pharmacist named Theron T. Pond invented the golden treasure, a healing tea extracted from witch hazel, which he discovered could strengthen skin below the surface, helping it to repair itself from small cuts and numerous other wounds. Soon after, the product became widely popular as the Pond's Extract. This set the stage for what was to become the world's first skincare brand and a unique history of skincare breakthroughs, all dedicated to helping women keep their skin looking radiant and feeling soft. As the 20th century advanced and World War II broke out, women had to step in and take over men's jobs as they went to war. Pond's stood by them with their unique duo of Pond's Cold Cream, the world's first moisturizer not to require refrigeration, and Pond's Vanishing Cream, helping them retain their grace, softness, and femininity in these stressful new roles. And in 1960, the bloom of the iconic tulip on the Pond's logo was introduced. And this is supposed to be a symbol of feminine beauty. And that has since been the brand's promise of radiant skin no matter what your skin is facing. And in the 1990s, there was the birth of the Pond's Institute. And this established itself as one of the world's leading experts in advanced skincare research and diagnostics. And Pond's will continue to use their expertise to innovate and create skincare solutions that keep skin clean, radiant, and soft. So this Pond's dry skin cream is actually really old from the late 1940s. Pond's facial moisturizer for rich hydration dry skin is an extra rich hydrating face moisturizer. And it says to gently massage Pond's moisturizer over the face and throat. And for best results, remove your face cream with a warm washcloth. That's kind of interesting that it says to do that. To me, that seems like more of like a cold cream. And it says it's a great moisturizer for dry skin and sensitive skin. And it says that it moisturizes deeply and preps skin for makeup application for a soft, smooth, radiant skin. And it's kind of a cult classic. And to me, I wonder if this is the original vanishing cream or was used later because it says to use it under your makeup as a primer. And I was really impressed with this product after using it for a week and I still use it. It's really good um, at just keeping your skin super moisturized. It's not too greasy and my skin feels moisturized all day long. And this is what kind of jump started the whole segue into trying the other Pond's products. And all these are super affordable at around $6.50 Canadian. I don't know how much they are in the United States, but I'm sure it's around that or maybe even cheaper. The dry skin cream can be used morning and night, so you can use it even as like a sleep mask. And now let's dive into the Pond's Face Clarent B cream. And this one was launched in March 2018. And this one is to brighten your skin tone and make it more even. And it's an anti-spot treatment as well. So if you have acne scars and just maybe sunspots, it helps to reduce that. And the formula contains vitamin B3, which helps to improve the appearance of skin, leaving you with a radiant and glowing skin. And it says to apply to your face and neck after cleansing your skin. And I used it morning and evening. I kind of layered all three together. You don't necessarily have to do that. You can just use one of them, but I kind of just wanted to see what would happen. And next on the list is the Pond's Rejuvenous Anti-Wrinkle Cream. And this one was available since July 1st, 2015. So it's a little bit older. And I was looking at reviews online and a lot of people had really good reviews for this one. And I was reading that a lot of people said it is a La Mer dupe, 
which I found interesting because uh, I know Nivea is also one. So I don't know if you have noticed, but I recently started using Final Cut Pro to edit all my videos and I've been wanting to do this for years and I was a little nervous to bite the bullet and actually get Final Cut Pro because it's definitely in an investment and I was nervous because I felt overwhelmed by the software, but luckily because I have Skillshare, they have a really easy course on there on how to use Final Cut Pro and I've been going through all the lessons once a week and it's really helped me learn how to edit my videos and now I feel super confident with Final Cut Pro and you can use Skillshare for other things like illustration, drawing, there's fashion courses on there, there's marketing, there's so many different things you can take whether or not you want it for work or business or even a hobby. The first thousand people to use the link below in the description box will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. And I highly recommend you trying it out, especially if you get a full free month. And there's tons of different social media courses on there and video editing, photography courses, so you name it, it's all on Skillshare. So make sure you click the link in my description box to get a one a month free trial. And the first thousand people to click the link will get a one month free trial. So let me know which classes you end up taking. And this one's supposed to visibly reduce the appearance of fine lines in two weeks. And it has alpha hydroxy acids in it, collagen. And it says the first signs of aging become apparent when fine lines and wrinkles start showing on your face. One rejuvenous jar is sold every 10 seconds. So when it comes to this being a creme de la mer dupe, I was reading online a, a few different websites talking about it. And creme de la mer is a luxury skincare cream. It's very expensive. I think it's like a few hundred dollars. I wish I could try it, but obviously it's out of my price range. That's why I was excited to try the ponds. And its main all-star ingredient is the fermented seaweed, which works as a lactic acid to lightly exfoliate. But a lot of people are saying that it isn't necessarily worth that hefty price tag. And other notable active ingredients in creme de la mer include mineral oil, and this prevents water loss and may feel heavy on the skin, so it's best for those with dry skin. It also has petroleum, also known as Vaseline, and this is another ingredient that keeps water from evaporating from your skin. It's non-pore clogging, but it has a very thick and greasy texture. It also has microcrystalline wax, a wax derived from petroleum to improve product texture. It has glycerin, an excellent moisturizer that supports a healthy skin barrier. And when you're comparing it to the Pond's Rejuvenous Anti-Wrinkle Cream, this anti-wrinkle cream has the alpha hydroxy acids, which help to lightly exfoliate the skin, similar to the seaweed in Creme de la Mer. The collagen works to plump up the skin and improve the elasticity. And Pond's Intense Hydration lessens the appearance of wrinkles, and it's a good dupe for Creme de la Mer that you can find at the drugstore at a really affordable price at $6.50. So the pros are that it's really hydrating, it exfoliates, it contains collagen, it won't clog your pores, it's also hypoallergenic. So now that I've shown you all the skincare products that I will be using over this next week, let's jump right in and I'll take you through my week-long process. Hello lovely. so this is my first day of trying the Pond's three-step system. I've been using Pond's cold cream for a few weeks now and I've just been so obsessed with it and I'm kind of having almost a love affair with it and now I'm so intrigued by the other Pond's products because I'm like well if this cold cream is that good like I gotta try these other ones and I love trying new skincare so this is very exciting for me so I'm gonna start with the Pond's cold cream on day one and I could even do a 30 day update. So I'm gonna do the cold cream cleanser. And make sure you check out my other uh, cold cream video where I test out seven different ones. So I'm gonna take like a decent amount. And the good thing about Pond's is I don't really feel guilty when I use a whole bunch at once because it's so affordable. I think this was like $6 for this. So, I mean, I'm okay with using a lot on my face. And I just love the smell. It's like, I can't explain it. I, I know some people are bothered by fragrance, but it's not a scent that bugs me. It smells really good. It smells like, uh, I can't explain it. It's like kind of refreshing, but it's like a vintage floral. So I'm just gonna do my eyes. It doesn't irritate my eyes either. 
and just rub it all in and I've already pre-dampened a washcloth with hot water so now I'm just going to rinse it off and it comes off so easily and my skin feels super soft afterwards which I love and now I'm going to check back with the moisturizer. I'm going to be putting on two of them. Okay, now I'm going to be using the Pons Clarent B3. This is an anti-spot treatment for even skin tone. And the container is quite big. As you can see, it's like the same as the kind of vintage looking one with the pink top. And I believe this one was around the same price. It was $6.50. So I'm going to put this one on first, but I have two other creams I'm going to do after. And this one has like a really nice, it's like a petal soft floral scent. It's a little different than the cold cream. It's not as thick. I'm using a generous amount and I'm just going to put this all on my face. And I already applied all my serums and everything. And I want this one on first because it's like the anti-spot one. And it goes on quite nicely and I find that it kind of tingles a bit. Not in a bad way. I'm just gonna smooth it down over my face. And next I'm going to put on the other Pond's anti-aging cream and this is the anti-wrinkle cream and this one you can use morning and night. And again, this was around the same price, $6.50. And apparently this is a dupe for the La Mer. This one doesn't really have a floral scent at all. It kind of smells like other firming creams and it's not as thick either. And I'm gonna rub this all over. I mean, technically you're probably not supposed to put all three on, but I'm kind of crazy and I just wanna try it. So I'm going to and see how it goes. And there's still one more to go on. And this is the Pond's Dry Skin Cream. And I wanna put this one over top as like a final mask of moisture. And this one has like a nice vintage floral scent again and it has a more retro ponds container with the lid which i like i kind of wish the other ones had these matching containers I, I don't know i think it'd be nicer and this one is really thick and creamy and i feel like it seals in all the moisture i've been using this one for like a week now and that's why i wanted to also buy the other ones because it's been so good i had like this dry patch on my lip and it's completely gone and my skin has been feeling so soft so i wanted to like seal it in with this and i've actually been using it in the daytime too under my makeup as a primer so that is the last step and i'm going to check back again tomorrow evening and we'll do it again and then i am going to do a daytime one too on a day where i don't work so i start work at 6 a.m so it's hard filming in the dark when i'm in a rush in the morning but my day is off i will do my like daytime skin one too so let's check back again tomorrow hello lovelies so today is day two and i'm gonna remove my makeup with my Pond's cold cream cleanser and then I'm just going to jump in the shower and then once I'm out of the shower I'm going to check back and do the rest of the routine but let's just start with the cleanser and all day today I feel like my skin was super soft and moisturized and I felt like my makeup was pretty good and my skin wasn't too oily and it just feels quite soft and smooth right now so I think it worked out pretty well today. So I'm just gonna rub it all on my face. Actually, I have a pimple on the side, so it kind of hurts. I don't know where that came from. And then I'm gonna do my eyes after, and I might do one more cleanse in the shower. I'm wearing a little bit more makeup than normal, like eyeshadow and stuff, because I was filming today. I had a busy day today. I got up at five for work. Then I worked till 1.30. And then I went over to my parents' house to film. And I filmed a video with this vintage Easy Bake Oven I got from the 1960s. I'm really excited about this video. Always wanted an Easy Bake Oven when I was a kid, so I was kind of reliving that fantasy. And now I have a cloth already wet, so I'm just gonna use it to wipe it off. Honestly, it comes off in like one clean swoop. It's really nice. It's my favorite cold cream. And it smells good. It just works so well. And all my eye makeup is gone. It's so easy. And my skin feels soft, not dry. So I'm just gonna take a shower and then I'll check back in a minute. 
Okay, so I just took a shower and now I'm gonna put on the Pond's Clarin B3. I love this one. It smells pretty good. It's like a fresh floral. It's not too heavy. I use like a kind of a generous amount. And I put this one on first because it's supposed to be like the anti-spot treatment. So I figured it's best to have it on my skin first. And it kind of gives me a little bit of a tingly sensation. And it just feels nice going on my skin. And it's a light fragrance, not too heavy. And next, anti aging like firmness one i put this on morning too as well as the other one i do all three morning and night i just stick my finger in get like a decent amount and i'm really excited about this one because it's the le mer dupe and then lastly i put on the pond's dry skin cream and this kind of seals it in almost like a sleep mask and this one's a bit thicker it reminds me more of the Pond's Cold Cream. It has more of a vintage scent. It's a really nice moisturizer and it just seals it all in. Like a thick sleeping mask. My skin has felt so much better once I started using all three in the last few days. So I'll check back tomorrow. Hello lovely. so today is day four. I thought I'd do a time lapse for day three. I'm wearing a decent amount of makeup right now because I just filmed today. I usually wear more when I'm filming. So I'm gonna go in with the Pond's cold cream and remove my makeup and then I'm gonna hop in the shower because I've been on the go since 5 a.m. this morning so I feel gross and I definitely want to shower and I'm using a lot. I like to slather my skin like crazy. Also on a side note, I picked up some Sea Breeze Astrogen. You can actually can't buy it in Canada. I found it on Amazon. I think it got shipped from the States. I'm realizing a lot of movie stars used it. So I'm gonna do a test run of that. Let me know if you want me to do a video just on Sea Breeze and trying it for a week or maybe a combination but I'm curious about it. So yeah, I have it really slathered in now and I'm gonna pop in the shower and then I'll check back with you guys once I rinse it off. Just love having long nails and the ponds, cold creams get stuck under all my nails. That's the only problem. I should probably use something else to scoop them out with. Anyways, I'll check back with you in a few minutes. All right, so I'm out of the shower now. And first I'm gonna put on the Clarent B. I'm actually quite impressed with it. I had a pimple here and it's been, it's gone now and it's actually faded and it's only day four and it's like almost gone and faded. So I feel like this is working and I like to put this one on first to absorb into my skin, to fade like acne scars and whatnot. And I feel like it's working already. Like I feel like my skin looks brighter. And by the end of the day, like after work and stuff like my skin feels like looks really moisturized and i had like a really bad like dry patch under my lip and i think it was from wearing a mask and as soon as i started doing the pond's three-step moisturizer system it like went away out of nowhere it was crazy and now i'm gonna put on the anti-aging cream over top so i'm pretty impressed so far with these products especially for the products like my skin feels so supple and moisturized and i think it'd be really good for the winter and then i'm gonna put on the dry skin cream i love this one too so this is what got me it smells so good i like it it's really thick too and i think it works well as like a sleep mask and as like a vanishing cream and primer and this is kind of like my final layer. I even put it on my lips and that's why I got rid of that dry patch. It just feels so good on my skin. And that is it for today. So I will check back with you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hello lovely. So it's Saturday night now and I ordered some sushi. So I'm gonna eat that and watch probably a scary movie and I'm just gonna do a quick cleanse 
I have a little bit of makeup on, not too much. And this is obviously the Pond's cold cream. And now I'm just going to do a quick rinse. And I'll check back. All right, let's do the final three steps. The Clarent one goes first, so it can absorb more into my skin. And then we'll follow by the Pond's Rejuvenous Cream. I just slather this all on my neck and chest. And now we're gonna do the Rejuvenous. A little bit. This, these aren't as thick as the Pond's Dry Skin Cream. That's the thickest one. So it's easy to layer them. And lastly is the Dry Skin Cream. And this is kind of my sleep mask that I do. It's a lot thicker than the other ones. And it has the most vintage smell to it. Not in a bad way. The smell doesn't bother me. And I really slather this on. It keeps my skin really moist, honestly. And that is it. And then tomorrow is the last day of the challenge, so I'll do my final words and check in with you and I'll let you know my final thoughts on the Pond's products. Hello, lovely. So today is Sunday. It's the last day of the challenge and had a pretty busy day. It's really windy and stormy out right now. I work today. And I've just been relaxing this afternoon. I have some makeup on. I rub my eyes a bit, so I have like eyeshadow or sorry, mascara coming down my face. A little bit on my eyes. I know I have a new pimple. But besides that, so far I think my skin's been looking pretty good. So I'm gonna go and do my Pond's Cold Cream to remove all my makeup, and then I'm gonna hop in the shower and finish cleansing my face and stuff. And then I'll come back and do my final um, thoughts and skincare routine with Pond's and let you know what I think after trying it consistently for seven days. So I'm just rubbing it on my eyes, on my face, and then doing a quick rinse. So I will check back with you guys in a few minutes once I take a shower. Okay. All right, so I just took a shower and I ended up doing some extractions. That's why I have the red dot there and one there, but it's gone now. And I'm gonna do my final Pond's Clarent. So I think my conclusions are that I'm really happy with the product, especially for the price of like $6.50 a cream. My skin has felt very moisturized before I started using it. My skin has felt dry and I was using like retinol and I had like um, dry patches like on my face and lips. And now that I've started using these three lotions together, I noticed things have gotten a lot better. So I'm gonna continue using them. The only reason why I'll stop is if I'm gonna try using a different product for a week for the sake of the video. But besides that, I plan on continuing on with this a three step thing because my skin does feel really good and those spots are pretty much gone so it really does help fade um like acne scars and post pimples will be interesting to see how fast that one goes so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you use any of these pawns products also don't forget to subscribe and hit the big red button if you want to see more of my videos all right i'll see you guys again soon bye